Okay, so you're headed into town, and instead of taking a left on 7 toward Historic District downtown, you're going to take a right. Thank you, Trevor. And you're going to take a quick right onto <laughs> Cedar Glades Road right here. See that? Right here, Trev. Trev. <laughs> Cedar Glades Road. And we're going to go up here. Uh, you can tell I didn't give my driver any directions beforehand. <laughs> and we're headed toward uh, the alternate entrance to Cedar Glades Park. So you're going to follow up this about a couple miles. Keep going. You're going to see a dead end sign and then the Garland County landfill. You're going to go right by the landfill in this direction. And you're going to come up and there's going to be some confusing signs. Now what you want to do is you don't want to go to the right. You want to go to the left here. So let's see these signs. Right? You're going to go to the left where it says landfill and recycling center. And the reason you want to do that is it's the next right past the landfill. Now we're slowing down. This is the entrance to the landfill, but we're going to go to the next right. And most people don't know there's the landfill. And the next entrance here is sort of this hidden entrance to Cedar Glades Park. It's the back entrance and there's no real signs until you get up to it. And it's right here. Take a right, Trevor. Trevor, I don't think he's ever seen this little hidden entrance. And look, it's called the Bull Bayou Picnic Area at Cedar Glades Park. But we're going to park and we're going to get out and you can see some of the beauty that's around. Here's the parking right up here. And there's a little playground and picnic area. Here we are with the playground area. And as you can see on this map, the, uh, well, maybe you can't see too well, but this connects, all the trails connect here to the main park. It's just about a half mile walk to do that. But right now what we want to do is show you where the beautiful water paths are. So here's your park, there's your playground, and what you want to do to get to the water directly right off the bat is sort of like an unmarked trail. You're going to go to the playground and you're going to walk from the playground. There's the main trail. Walk here to the... And this will bring you right down to a cool water area. And as you walk in here, you'll start seeing little paths. Follow the path to the left. And you can listen for the water. And... It'll come up pretty fast. As a matter of fact, I'm not even going to turn off the camera. I'm going to run here to get over here. Be a little shaky. And that's how long from the playground it takes you to get to the water. And it's sunny out, but raining at the same time right now. There's a little bench. And there's a little place for kids to swim. And a couple logs. A nice little clear water area. And then if you look over here, we have a family here, but most of the times it's empty and we have a little sort of platform area. And the platform area overlooks the water. Along the path, the walks along the river, and you can go for a long ways. You could even take this path, join up with the other path, over to the other part of Cedar Glade so you could walk for about half hour or so and get to the other section of Cedar Glades and half hour back and take some beautiful paths through the woods and it's real quiet out here and peaceful and lots of nature. Now we are headed back to where the road splits off and we're going to take a left and go to the main part of Cedar Glades just to show you what that's all about. Okay and coming back from this direction you'll see signs for Cedar Glades Park, the main entrance, and we're, once again, we're not coming from town here, we're coming from the alternate, ex, uh, the alternate entrance that we just had. There's our sign, so we're going to take a left this time, and we're going back. And so yeah, it's about one and a half miles from the Bull Bayou entrance to where the switch off is. So about one mile later for that turn off, here's Cedar Glades Park entrance. Recognizable by the big sign. This is the main entrance of Cedar Glades Park. We're going to 
take a right here in the rain. Uh, you can see the rock climbing wall. To the left, Cedar Glades has a RC car park, so you can bring your radio-controlled cars, and um, there's a free track there for you to drive them on. If you keep going, you come upon an airport, but it's not an airport for normal planes. If you have a radio-controlled airplane, this is the airport, and sometimes on any given weekend, you can come down here and see a bunch of people using their radio controlled planes right here and watch for free. Anytime they also have a RC radio controlled airplane event, they usually don't charge any money for it. I think they make their money back on some concessions. So buy a hot dog or whatever, but it's a wonderful park for watching RC planes and just hanging out. Now, from here, you can come down this way and you're gonna notice a little bridge Sorry about the rain. There's that bridge. If you take that bridge, you get to this outdoor tree fort, which is quite neat. And I'll probably go run over there now and take some pictures for you. And here is the cool little tree fort and path and underneath and ladders that kids really seem to like. I'm going underneath so I don't get wet. And it's just a fun little exploring adventure place. There's a little amphitheater over there in the distance. If you follow that bridge, you go up to the Frisbee Golf exhibit. I say exhibit, uh, course. And a lot of Frisbee golfers really take this course seriously and really like it. And it's real fun. And they have little nets that capture your Frisbee. So if you want to play Frisbee golf, that's where to go. And the tree fort. And another neat thing to take the kids and sort of explore around. And if it starts raining, you have a roof over your head. And now we're leaving in the pouring rain the beautiful Cedar Glades Park in Garland County, part of Hot Springs, Arkansas.